Hello, I'm Gina Harris and welcome to today's Soul Food and Grace Moment. Today's message is Ephesians 6, 10 through 13. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Okay, you guys, so... I spoke on this, right, yesterday, talking about the armor of God, speaking how important it is to claim this verse. And I want to encourage you, if you're going to meditate and read on this, read all the way through verse 18, okay? I wanted to keep it shorter, but read all the way through 18. God has given us His Word so powerful and true that we will have the protection and the wisdom to stand against any attacks, whether it's conscious or unconscious. And as I read these verses this morning, the reality struck me that Paul wrote them while he was in chains and in prison. Ooh, that gave me goosebumps. And it did it, it did again, just sharing it with you guys. But the truth says the enemy we face, no matter how cruel and vicious the schemes, can never chain our spirits because we have been set free by Christ. Wow, right? That's so powerful. Paul was physically chained down but knew that they could not have a spirit, his soul, his salvation. Paul was not silenced by the attacks from dark forces and neither should we. This world we know can be a battlefield sometimes, right? But we can rest in knowing that we, when we are with God, we will be safe with Him. So place your hands over your heart and claim this power I am. I am always protected in the armor of God. That's awesome. I am always protected in the armor of God. I love you. Have a blessed day. I'm praying blessings over your life and we'll see you again tomorrow.